Hi, welcome you all to Pebbles. In today's class, we are going to see mixed number and improper fraction, Max class 4. So, converting an improper fraction to a mixed number. Let's start the class. Now, we are going to solve the problem. It is an improper fraction. First, I have told you what is a, a proper fraction, improper fraction and mixed fraction. Already explained in last class, but anyhow, I just tell you a short brief. Uh, first one a proper fraction proper fraction means numerator is less than the denominator it is a proper fraction improper fraction means numerator is greater than the denominator it is a what improper fraction and mixed fraction that is nothing but it is a uh, composed of it is a composed of whole number and also a proper fraction it is called as a what mixed number and mixed fraction now we are going to uh, solve the question that is converting converting an improper fraction to a mixed number so first question a is that is 4, 14 by 3 14 by 3 what is the number 14 by 3 14 is a numerator and 3 is the denominator so 14 is a greater number and 3 is the smaller number so i've told you improper fraction is numerator is greater than the denominator that is what it is a proper fraction now we are going to see uh, converting an improper fraction to a mixed number let's start that is 14 by 3. So now we are going to divide. That means uh, 14 is a dividend and 3 is a divisor. Now we are going to divide 14 by 3. So 14 divided by 3 means you have to use the 3 table. That means 4 threes are 12. So you have to subtract 4 minus 2. You can get 2. 1 minus 1. You can get 0. So not necessary to put it here. So it is a quotient and it is a reminder. So what is the answer? 4 is a quotient. It is a whole number and 2 is a reminder. Reminder is go to the top as a numerator and 3 is a divisor. You have to write like this. So the answer is this is the whole number and the reminder is convert as a what numerator and this divisor is a denominator. So 4 into 3 12, 12 into 2 less. That means quotient into that means divisor plus reminder you can get the dividend i told you already that is called as dividend d i v i d e n d i've told you many times so quotient is what four and divisor is what three plus reminder is what two so four into three twelve twelve plus two fourteen so you can get this answer so four is a whole number and two by three is a proper fraction because two is a numerator that means the reminder as a numerator and the divisor as a denominator. So this is a numerator and this is a denominator and this is a whole number. It's a mixed fraction. You got this answer. That means 4, 2 by 3 is the right answer for this question. Uh, but what is this? It's a whole number and this is a proper fraction. I've told you mixed number is a what? Whole number that means a mixed fraction is composed of whole number and a proper fraction. That is what you can get it. Next sum is 7 by 2. So 7 by 2 you can do the same method second b sum so again what you're going to do you have to divide 7 is going to divide by 2 so it's a dividend and divisor 3 2s are 6 then remind reminder is what 1 7 minus 6 you can get 1 is a reminder and this is a quotient and this is a divisor so you can get this answer 3 is a whole number and 1 divided by 2 this reminder is a numerator and this divider is a denominator. Answer is 3 and a half. That means uh, what? 3, 1 by 2 otherwise. Okay. Next sum is 8 by 5. The C sum I am going to solve. So 8 by 5. So 8 is divided by 5. You have to use the what? Fifth table. So 1, 5 is a 5. Now you are going to subtract. So what are you going to do? 8 minus 5. You can get 3. This is a reminder and this is a quotient. So, 1 is a whole number, quotient is a whole number and 3, this reminder is a what? Numerator and this 5 divisor is a denominator. So, what is the answer? 1 and 3 by 5. 1 is a whole number, 3 by 5 is a proper fraction. Here, 3 is a whole number, 1 by 2 is a proper fraction. It's both combined together as a mixed number. At the same, 4 is a whole number and 2 by 3 is a proper fraction. It's combined together as a mixed number. So, all the answers are perfectly right. 